Sky News has obtained evidence that staff at the Department for Work and Pensions were given a so-called deflection script to send universal credit claimants online when they called to say that their payments hadn't come through. Well, one of those was a man who took his own life as worries over universal credit built up. Uh, Sky's people and politics correspondent Nick Martin has this exclusive report. Leanne Bailey's father was put on universal credit last year, but she says whenever he rang the helpline, he was told to go online. We were dumped not having a computer. All he had was a mobile phone. He didn't know how to log on to the journal. He weren't quite sure what to do. If you needed to speak to somebody, you had to go through the journal. Then once you message them, they'd send you a text message to say, check your journal. And every day he was just getting stressed for that when all he actually wanted to do was just pop in, sit down, chat to somebody. In July last year, Brian Bailey took his own life. He was 59. In October, a former Universal Credit case manager lifted the lid on life inside the system. So there was something called the deflection script, which is within your booth. You Bayard Tarpley said agents were given scripts used to deflect claimants away from the helplines. At the time, the Department for Work and Pensions said those claims were completely false. We've been given this internal DWP document in which advice is given to call handlers on how to get claimants off the phone and online as quickly as possible. And interestingly, it includes two words, deflection script. The deflection scripts the DWP denies ever existed are discussed here. It's revealed that a deflection script was developed to support staff and noting its potential to be controversial adds this will not be launched as a formal script its purpose it goes on to ensure deflection techniques are identified and if anyone was in doubt about the purpose it concludes encourage staff to ask what the claimant is calling for at the beginning of the call rather than moving straight to security questions this may open up the opportunity to deflect the caller online. The documents were obtained by Labour's Danielle Rowley. I think that it's, it's outrageous that the DWP have first said that there aren't any scripts and now that I've seen those scripts and we know that they're there, um, for the, the department to be trying to shrug that off again and say it's false. And you know, when I see them and see the words deflection script, which the department have de denied, it's just further proof that they're trying to hide things. Despite the evidence here, the DWP refused to comment on the existence of deflection scripts, telling us, there has never been a policy to hurry callers off the phones and accusations that this is the case are completely false. Call handlers are encouraged to spend as much time as necessary on the phone and remind claimants that they are able to complete certain activities online where appropriate. There was making him go on the journal, there was making him talk to people via a journal. He didn't know who he was talking to. All he wanted to do was just pop in and speak to somebody. So to know that, I just think it's disgusting. Universal Credit has been beset with problems and still is. Pension Secretary Amber Rudd says changes will be made, including making the process more compassionate to the needs of those accessing it. Nick Martin, Sky News. We can talk now to Charlotte Hughes. She's a campaigner who volunteers at the Ashton Underline Job Centre. Very good morning to you, Charlotte. I believe that you advise people on accessing universal credits and indeed you've used them yourself. I wonder, therefore, if this comes as a surprise to you or if you've encountered these scripts yourself. Yeah, absolutely no surprise at all. Every, every week I speak to people that have encountered this issue, exactly this issue. When I've tried to phone up on behalf of other people as well, I've encountered this issue as well. So okay. it, it's, it's all over. It's, it's, still, it's still happening. And how does it make you and the people that you've come into contact feel when they're feeling hurried off the phone? Well, it sets somebody into a state of panic because they don't know what to do because they believe that somebody will help them at the end of the phone, which is what we're all taught to believe. Um, they don't know what to do. They try to access a phone. Um, they try to go into the job centre to get a phone. They're not allowed to use the phones there. They can't access a computer because they've got no internet. It it just sends people into a spiral of a spiral of a downward spiral into panic and upset and worry. And many actually get the benefits sanctioned because of this. 
And, and what's your response to the fact that the Department of Work and Pensions have actually denied in the past that these even existed before Sky News uncovered the evidence of these deflection scripts? I have to ask them, how many more lies are you going to deny? How many more lies are you going to tell? You know, we know the truth. You've got the truth in front of you, but they're still not listening. They're still not admitting. I would like to ask the question, how stupid do they think we are? You know, they're paid by the public to do their job. You know, they're public employees. Therefore, they should be answerable to us. But at the moment, they're answerable to nobody. Um, well, Amber Rudd uh, from the Department of Work and Pensions has said that she accepts that changes need to be made to universal credit and, in fact, it needs to be made more compassionate. How do you think that that could be done? Well, this, the system as, as it is at the moment, universal, the whole universal credit system, is, is a, a prime example of the government's hostile environment towards the poor and disabled. It's full of loopholes, it's full of holes, and to be honest, you can't fix it. There's absolutely no fix in it. Amber Rudd's um, sort of ideas of making it more friendly isn't really going to work because none of the other things are going to be changing. Um, the whole, the only way it's going to change is if you stop it, if you scrap the universal credit, if you create a new system that works for everybody instead of working against everybody. And just lastly, your advice to anyone that does feel as though they're being deflected off a call uh, going forward? I would seek help. I would, um, I would talk to your friends. Talk to your neighbours if you can. Go to Citizens Advice if you can and Welfare Rights. Contact your local MP. You're not on your own. There's lots of community voluntary aid and community groups that will help you out there if you can find them. Speak to somebody like me. We don't mind taking the time out to help you because we know how hard it is. Uh, we know how hard it is to use a computer. We know how hard it is to access the internet and how to use a telephone. It's a totally alien to people. Um, because the libraries are shutting down as well and they're, all, or they're overwhelmed, it's really hard for them to access anything anywhere. So we can, these other organisations can give them lots of help and advice regarding that. You're not on your own. Okay, Charlotte Hughes, thanks very much indeed for your time. Okay.